what we need to do next is actually get ourselves the files. And I'm not gonna tell you, do these five things in order and you will build your plugin. Uh, you can find some pretty good articles on the internet that will tell you what those five steps are. In fact, if you want, go and dig up one and use it kind of as a reference. What I'm gonna do is basically show you all the errors. Uh, so we're gonna make the mistakes, if you will, and uh, and keep fixing them. And the reason why I want to do that is that um, I think it's pretty important that right away you get used to recognizing some of the very basic errors and issues when you are trying to get source from elsewhere or your own and you're trying to build it. Now, as I said before, I have extracted myself the dev kit. Let me find it. Um, so this is the footprint node that I'm interested in. I'm literally just gonna copy that file. And one of the reasons why I've chosen this is that it's super simple. So we're gonna have one translation unit. Um, it contains everything, including the plugin and all of that. And once it is copied, and I could just drag and drop it and it will be added to the source files. But in this case, I want to actually go and get the folder for it. Do I even remember how to do that? So footprint node is what we actually want. Can I just paste in here? Yes. And from here, you should be able to go open folder in File Explorer, which has worked. And now you can see that it is in source repos Maya nodes footprint node, as we would expect it to be. Now, if we go back here, let me close this app CPP. We don't care for it. It's not in the source file, so you can do add you can either drag and drop from an explorer as I shown before, but you could also do add existing item. Uh, it should normally open in the project space, so it should be pretty easy to go add. Now, that is gigantic. So luckily they put all of the dev kit stuff into the uh, into an um, open, uh, open content. I forget the name, bugger, anyway. Uh, the license is open so we can show it you know you can freely access all of these and now you're going to see a bunch of errors and if you were to try and build this you can see a lot of missing stuff you can hover and see what those error those errors actually are but we don't care about it just yet what we want to see is what error do we get here so if i do shift control b uh, that literally just builds it kicks off the compilation for this it told me one succeeded and one fail now come on that is because shift control b is build solution so what happened is that test xc actually succeeded whereas footprint node is not so if you have multiple things and one of them is in this repair because you were just messing with it you can actually go select a single file and go compile and that will zero in on what you're dealing with and you go error list uh, those are when you get e they're straight up errors from the preprocessor usually so or from the resource files and so on which are by far the easiest to actually detect and deal with um, then it will tell you things like get mvs undefined so these are actually more c ish kind of errors uh, it's a bunch of stuff that's all defined and if you keep moving on it should not give you at this point any link errors but who knows because it should never get to linkage uh, and these are errors from some other files, so we don't care about it. All right, so that is your project setup. At this point, you should be able to build the DLL. It's still not gonna be a valid Maya DLL, but um, failure to load the Maya actually comes long after you've had a successful build. So let us move on to the next part, which is figuring out how to fix the headers themselves.